Hey, welcome to John's Guitar Lab. Today we're going to do a little something with C, A minor, F, and G. John, we know those chords. Good, because we're going to do bass with bass like solo with the chord accompaniment. Okay, those of you that have used the Mel Bay method, you've done some of this. But for those that haven't been following the Mel Bay method, this is something that'll probably be new to you. You've heard it many times, all right, and I'm just going to show you in the key of C a few simple things that you can add where you want, how you want to add it, and I'll demonstrate all that for you. First of all, we're using these chords here, C, A minor, F, I'm using the F bar, you see, and the G. What I'm doing is I'm going to take a simple thing like this, four chords, which you've heard, you know, from the doo-wop stuff. But now what we want to do is okay. What do, what am I doing? Alright, I'm just going from the G bass, off of the C chord, G, A opened, B, on the fifth string, second fret, C, B, G, B, C. So what we're doing is we can either do it, or we can break it up a little bit, go. C chord, we follow this sequence. B, A. See what I did there? Okay, let's both of them together. Nice and slow. Okay. C. Now, fingering. I use certain fingers. Uh, I believe it's the right way to do it, but there are other ways. What's comfortable for you? That's what you're going to use. So if you feel better going. Again, this is just sort of a bass with a, uh, a chord accompaniment. So you take this once you feel comfortable with this. You could do that. What did I do there? Okay, instead of going, I just went B C. up your own things when you're doing this. Now, what something that I've always spoke about before, remember with the bar chords, and I said, well, this one, this position really stinks, you know, it's hard to do. Why this is important to know is that, see what we did here? Now, that's in the key of C. I can literally take the bar, and for those of you that have used the capo, you know, you could capo right there and then do the same sequence. But if you're not using a capo,
another thing. What did I do right there? I didn't hit the chord. Fool with this. See what combination you could come up with with the bass chord accompaniment. With the D, that was just a demonstration to show you that this position, once why it's important is that it's very movable. That's not something right now you really have to do. Get comfortable in the key of C. Once you're comfortable in the key of C and you want to move it, then do so. If you don't want to move it with the bar, if people that have used the capo, you use that. I personally don't like to use a capo and the only reason why is I like to always have the full range of the guitar at my disposal. That doesn't mean using the capo is wrong. It just means it's not good for me and a few other people that don't really care to use it. It's fine if you want to do this, okay? So just remember. See what you could hear out of this. Questions? Comments below. If you like what you see, please give me that thumbs up and please subscribe. Enjoy your day.